So now I'm going to show you something that's really cool. This is the thing that I wrote the blog about that I said it had me doing cartwheels. Okay. This is a laser sew straight guide that is exclusive to these machines. Nobody else has it. That's We're right. talking totally industry first, right? Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. So how I'm using it, well, you know how when people sew long mm -hmm. strips together, how mm -hmm. you kind of wobble a sure, little bit. Sure, because they're just trying to line up with just the front of the foot. Well, the way I used to do it, Got the quarter inch guide there and where is my straight stitch foot straight stitch foot okay so the way i used to do it is i would have the quarter inch thing there sure i'd be using my straight stitch foot right. because it has the various measurements on it for the quarter and the right. eighth and right. all of that but, but then I you just had this little spot to line up with you don't exactly. have anything longer mm -hmm. exactly that's where i was aiming for okay or that little place on the foot sure. but now with the laser i think it just became a whole lot simpler and I'll show you how this works. All I have to do is activate it and look at look at the line. Mm -hmm. Look how nice and bright it is. Okay. I'm really I like how long it is because you have a much longer area to line up with. That's true. See, you think of all the important stuff. So the first thing I have to think about is where do I want to line it up okay. for piecing. Now, mm -hmm. for piecing, there's that whole quarter inch thing. Right. And well, and scant quarter inch, I'm told. Well, some, some people, people fight you to the mat on okay. that. We're good. I kind of like a scant quarter inch, mm -hmm. but, but what I call it is a pressed quarter. Okay. So in other words, after I've done my sewing, I want to make sure that my pieces are accurate. Okay. So if I don't, ha if I have too deep or too narrow a seam allowance, mm -hmm. that isn't going to work. Mm -hmm. So some of that depends on how well you press. Some of that depends on how well you sew. Mm -hmm. But I think this is going to be easier. So I'm using thinking that 250 millimeters is an inch. Okay. 60 millimeters should give me the perfect pressed quarter. Okay. In theory. Right. So I tested it out. All right. What I did was I set the laser. The laser comes on at 3.5. Right. I moved it over to 9.5. Okay. Oops. 9.5. I overshot it. That's now, right. if the laser's at 9.5 and my needle position is in 3.5 that means i've got that six sure, millimeter difference, difference right exactly and then you know this is your realistic preview here on the screen that just shows you exactly what's going on i did not know that see the red line is your laser guideline and then so the blue line is your it? stitching line as you can see the reference between the two okay that's interesting mm -hmm. another thing though if people can't get their quarter really well they can go to the quilting program correct you know what i liked about the quilting program is you go to the, you go there you choose quilting two which is your right hand position mm -hmm. you've got all sorts of positions there so it defaults at 5.5 because it thinks that you're using the straight stitch foot right. but you can keep look how many positions i have there i have 538 525 i have what, seven positions between 4.5 sure. and 5.5 to well, get it right? It's because you have 57 needle positions in the seven millimeter opening. So the, the usual way is to go down and up and down by half a millimeter, and this one gives you many more increments than that. Which means that you've got a better shot of getting your right. pressed quarter right. Sure, and you get the, what you want, and you're going to put it into memory, and it'll always be at the same spot that you want. You just touch memory in the middle, and then you're Oops. all, it'll be good to go. Memory in the middle? Mm-hmm. And then you touch close, and now every time you bring up that stitch, it's going to be in that exact same needle position that you just set it up at. Cool. And if you want to be certain of that, choose your memory pocket again, and now mm -hmm. touch the word retrieve, mm -hmm. and then you'll see it there on the top line. I'm liking this. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to line it up here with the light. Mm -hmm. So you put the laser guide on the side of the fabric? Yes. You okay. want to run it just along there, sure. and then I can start sewing. And then I usually kind of stop part way and smooth it down, but you mm -hmm. want to keep it on the light. But see, I've got all this length to line it up with to make sure I'm sewing it correctly. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm liking this very, very much. See, and you use that for making your exact quarter inch seam allowance that you want. I use that moving the needle position in many different locations for like top stitching or for putting in zippers because then I can move that over and get it exactly where I want. That makes sense from the sewing side. Exactly. And then I'm going to use this little nifty thread cutter. I like that. And there we go. Awesome. Looks good, huh?